All right, hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So my most anticipated package of over a year now has just shown up, and that is my pre-order filled with my Analog Pocket pre-order goodies. Now, the first thing before we open this up, I just want to say I paid for this on my own. I was lucky enough to get in a pre-order right when the window opened and not have any issues. So this was not sent to me for free as a review copy or anything. I paid for this all um, on my own free will because I am just j really, really excited for this thing. I haven't been this excited to get a new console in a very long time. So what do you say? We take all the contents out of here first and then we'll kind of take a deeper dive into... Uh, what's inside and what I decided to pick up for the pre-order. So for those of you that don't know what the analog pocket is, uh, it is a emulation free, meaning it uses FGPA, um, to pretty much enhance your Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and using adapters, Game Gear, and eventually Neo Geo Pocket Color, um, Turbo Graphics, and Lynx games. The most, the one I'm most excited for, honestly, is Neo Geo Pocket Color, because unless you have an extremely rare dev kit for that thing, there is no way to get video out from the Neo Geo Pocket Color. So when that adapter comes out, oh man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. Super excited for that. So what we're gonna do first, I have not looked at any review videos for this. Um, I have looked at nobody's impressions or anything for the Analog Pocket, because I wanna be super surprised myself diving into this for the first time. So, okay, Let's, uh, this thing almost flew out of the box. So I'm just going to show everything really fast first, and then we'll open it up and take a closer look at it. But I got the pocket glass screen protector because, you know, this thing was not cheap. This was $100. You want to make sure that it's protected. And then, of course, we have, what is this, the pocket adapter for the Game Gear, which I did pick up. Now, I do have the, uh, the Mega SG with the Game Gear adapter, but I figured, well... Um, you know, funny enough, I didn't really actually grow up with a Game Gear as a kid because I had the Nomad and I really saw no use in getting a Game Gear because when you have a Nomad, I mean, you really didn't need a Game Gear. So this will honestly be the first time I'm really playing Game Gear in, in handheld form because um, even when I got an actual Game Gear, I didn't really use it too much because I got into collecting for it quite late and it's kind of expensive. But I do have um, a flash cart for that now. So this will be like essentially a Game Gear for me too. And then, of course, we have the analog pocket itself. And if you can't tell here, um, analog uses very sleek, very modern style packaging. They're, they're not super flashy in any way. But that's okay because I've, uh, I've bought their products in the past and I've always been really happy with them. So I know that this is going to be top quality. I also, of course, got the dock. This is one of the reasons. I know I'm just showing you a black box here. We're going to open this up soon. Get my first impressions on, on the things in the flesh. Um, I was really excited for the dock. It's one of the main reasons I wanted the analog pocket because this will make, I do a lot of streaming, so obviously this will make streaming for um, my Game Boy games, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, so slick and smooth and sound amazing, look, look amazing especially. So I had to absolutely get the dock, no questions asked. Um, and then I also picked up the hard case. So we got a nice stack, let me just show this stack real quick. Got a nice stack of analog goodies. To crack open so what do you say we we take a closer look at that and see what's inside all right let's open this thing up and see how it looks in person i've done some pre-cutting here just to speed things up a little bit but not gonna not gonna deny you guys of your package opening asmr right so i've always i've always really liked analogs packaging it's very sleek with the matte boxes i've always really appreciated the amount of work and quality they've put into their product boxes but here we go oh wow okay that looks super sleek also super reflective screen um, just so you can see there is a foam case inside that does protect it including the buttons moment of truth let's see how this thing feels in my hands we got some other little goodies in there we'll take a look at in a second okay it's pretty it's actually heavier than I thought it would be um, just to show you how reflective it is oh there I am Okay, well, I don't, look at that. I don't even need a webcam showing you guys my face. We can review it just like this. Um, <laughs> so, uh, kind of, yeah, it kind of works, right? Buttons. Okay, most important part. They are not super clicky. They feel, they feel good. I think it's going to take some extended gameplay to really know for sure. The D-pad, uh, not super mushy. It's, it's honestly like a good combination of clicky and mushy at the same time so it's like it can kind of 
I don't, I don't know how to describe this accurately, but it's a little more wobbly than I was expecting, but the true test will be actually playing it. Um, once again, the buttons feel pretty good. You can kind of hear the D-pad and buttons. Start and select power, those all feel fine. It's actually a little thicker than I thought it was going to be uh, in, in my hands here. Very prone to fingerprinting, though you can see this here. And I, you know, I made sure to wash my hands before doing this video to get like as much oil off as I could. And as you can see, it's still taking my fingerprints here a lot, but you know, I guess that's to be expected. I'd rather have a sort of matte finish like this than one that's too glossy, but wow, look at that. Holy moly. Is that prone to fingerprinting? So yeah, uh, those of you that don't worry, there's a screen protector on here we can take off. So don't worry. I'm, I'm kind of muddying up the screen here. Um, let's see what we've got down here. We've got the volume slider over here, a very bright green button. I guess that's kind of just going with their uh, their branding for the analog pocket, which does use a lot of blacks with bright lime greens. The screen is looking pretty hefty. Um, you know, I guess I never really realized looking at the promotional images for this thing, but wow, I never realized that the back is just completely open. But that's to make room for the adapters, obviously, but that's just uh, an interesting uh, tidbit here. Let me just quickly slide in a cart. We'll turn this thing on in a little bit, but let's just see how a cart looks in the back of this. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you are definitely going to want to be careful with using this thing and placing it down on tables, because if you put a pretty expensive cart in here, and let's just say that you lay it down on a table, um, now there is a bit of a lip on the bottom here, as you can see, so it will kind of protect the cart from touching a surface, but just something to be mindful of. It's, it's way more prone to obviously, uh, exposing your potentially expensive carts to the elements. Um, I don't know if this thing has power. Let's see if they have like a phantom charge on here. I'm not sure where the power button is. It must be this green one. Actually, you know what? Instead of Kirby, just in case it does have some phantom power in here, pre-charged. Let's go with my favorite Game Boy game, Trip World. Now, I don't know if this is actually going to turn on and power on and what's going to be on here, but let's see. Uh, oh, okay, it is turning on. Welcome to Pocket. Thank you. Um, we'll skip the tutorial. Let's just see if we can get right into the game real quick. I know you're supposed to update the firmware on this before using it, so I'm not sure if they're going to stop me. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm a speed reader, in case you guys don't know. Yep. Uh, okay. No, yeah, we're good. We don't need to update it quite yet. Let's see. All right, let's get this in focus here. Obviously not going to look as good as you guys as it does for me. It looks like it's going with the old school Game Boy colors. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Okay, so maybe it does need new firmware? Oh, jeez. What the heck is that? Sleep? Uh... Okay. Give me a moment here. We'll see what we can do. Let's try reinserting the cart. Oh, there we go. Ooh, wow, that is loud. Okay, let me see if I can... Let's dim the lights here. Wow, that sounds crazy. Oh yeah, much better. Oh my god, I love Trip World so much. Turn. Whoops, I didn't mean to put it in the sleep mode. I wanted to turn down the volume. I actually don't like how close the, uh, the volume is to the power button there. It's very easy to hit that by mistake, because they're very flush. Let's turn that down a little bit. Oh, I really like the way that this old school Game Boy filter looks on here. Holy moly get into the game and see how it looks and plays. Fantastic Game Boy game, by the way, for those of you that have not played this yet. Wow, this screen looks so good in person. Holy moly. And I'm sure there's tons of filters on here I can play around with. Let's turn that down just a little bit. Uh, one of my favorite Game Boy soundtracks, by the way, on Trip World. Amazing, amazing platformer. Very short game. Um, I recommend that you either emulate or, you know, get a reproduction of this. Wow. D-pad seems to work really good in practice in, in, you know, finally playing a game with it instead of just trying to analyze it without actually playing anything. Okay. 
Oh, I, I'm just too excited. I was I was gonna save this until the end, but um, I I need to test another cart like right now. Okay, let's do this one. I'm not sure where the save file is gonna be on here. I'm not gonna show you guys what game this is, but if if you have a, it's an RPG, and if you know me, you might have an idea of which one this is about to be. Let's do some uh, Game Boy Advance testing, shall we? Cannot wait to hear and see this. This is what made me really excited for an analog pocket. Oh yeah, you know, you know what's coming. Holy, oh my god. The title screen looks so good. I don't know where the save file is on here. Um, let's do one on the world map so maybe we can get a battle and hear the battle theme on this. I can't, you guys have no idea how excited I am for this moment to hear and see the Golden Sun battles on the analog pocket. Like, this is the game that always came to mind for me. Oh my god. I know, I know on, on screen here it's not going to look as good for you guys as it does for me. But just take my enthusiasm. That is so clear. Now one thing you have to remember. I don't emulate, right? So I don't use emulators. So for me, seeing a Game Boy Advance game like this good looking oh my god all right we got a summon right yes absolutely we're gonna overkill this guy okay let's just hold on how do we defend defend we got it we got to see the summon and that's not even one of the crazy summons oh, I am absolutely gonna be doing another playthrough of Golden Sun once again, I mean, I'm looking at my feed here. It doesn't look as good for you guys as it does for me, obviously, but just take my word for it. Let me just hear this up close real quick. Yeah, it, it sounds sounds amazing. It looks amazing. Um, I guess we'll, we'll end the test there. I'm sure there's some filters. This isn't really going to be like a tech demo kind of thing uh, to, to kind of like show you guys all the ins and outs of the analog pocket. This is more of a video just to get my initial first impressions. And wow, they... They are really, really good. I'm so excited for this. Anyway, let's... You know what? One more game. I, I gotta see... I gotta see one more game. I gotta see... Now, this is one that you might not be expecting. Um, I was gonna show Kirby before, but you know what? Let's see another Game Boy Advance game. Now, this is a launch game for the Game Boy Advance, but to me, it's always been one of the cooler-looking, like, tech demo kind of things for the Game Boy Advance. Uh-oh. Analog BIOS link mode error. Okay, uh, let's try. Let's try that again. Obviously, gonna have to read some manuals apparently, or maybe you know, update that firmware. It might be a good idea. You know what? Let's let's put some moisture on that cart. <sighs> Don't worry, it's not a. It's not an expensive one. I know everybody's crying out in pain right now in the comments. I'm sure, this will be solved with uh, firmware. But there we go. I say, I'm telling you guys. The blowing, I don't care how bad it is for the cart, it works. Alright, let's turn us up a little bit. Sequel to this has better music, but I always found this game visually to be super appealing. Good old Shinen. Oh yeah. You know what's coming if you know this one. Good old Iridion 3D. Man, it's been so long since I've played this game. Now, if you've never seen this before, it's actually a pretty decent, uh, like, faked 3D kind of Game Boy Advance game. Oh, yeah. Wow. That looks pretty incredible. So smooth looking. You can't even see the pixels anymore. And I'm sure there's filters to allow you to see the uh, pixels. Oh, my God. I'm so happy with this thing, you guys. I'm going to be playing so... I'm going to be playing so many more handheld games, it's ridiculous. I cannot wait for the other adapters. So here's the thing with me, um, as we kind of just left this play in the background. I haven't done a lot of actual handheld gaming a lot, because now that I stream, I, I anytime I play a handheld game, I'm kind of like streaming it on my TV, right? But this makes me excited to like just sit down and play some handheld games in my leisure again, just kind of like chilling on the sofa or something, just playing some games in the morning with my cup of coffee. I haven't been this excited to delve into 
handheld games again in quite a while. I can't wait to just fire up some of the longer RPGs and kind of just chip away at them at my own at my own pace and time. Because um, one of the downsides of the streaming is I always feel like I need to stream everything I play, but this makes me, you know, kind of excited just to play some, you know, shorter games, longer games, and not have to stream everything because, man, I just want to see this in person on the handheld some more. But anyway, let's not get too long-winded here. Now that we have my impressions of the console, what do you say we quickly open up some of these other goodies? Let's get this, uh, let's get this light back up, shall we? Let's open up some of the other goodies. Let's see what we've got. All right, so let's open up this hard case because some of you that may be interested in pre-ordering the pocket in the future, you may want to kind of see what some of these things look like. Apparently some black residue came off of something on my hand there. Um, super high quality boxes for everything. Slides right out. Okay, oh, these foam bo blocks here just to keep it in place. I was wondering what that was earlier. Let's put everything away here so I don't make a big mess. All right, so here is the plastic case. Comes with a, you know, protectors on it to keep it from scratching up. Let's see if we can pop this thing open. How do we open this? Uh, this is mainly just in case you're traveling with your pocket, which if you're buying a pocket, I'm assuming you probably will be. How do we, how do we push down on this? I don't want to break it. Uh, I don't know if this is like a push or a pull. It's actually a little... Oh, there we go. Okay, it's just you put your thumb here and you pull it away. Let's put the console in there and... I'm assuming this might be the front here. I'm not sure. Maybe it doesn't matter. Boy, fingerprints galore with the analog pocket. Okay, that's a nice tight fit. Perhaps the, um, that other thing that comes with this, like you can maybe slip it in here to keep it from... Oh, you know what? I bet you that other thing is meant to go here. You put it behind the cart, and that keeps it from having any empty space there, perhaps. Maybe. Anyway, it's nice and sleek. It's Wow, it's actually, like, extra heavy now. This is, this is heavier than you're anticipating, let me just say that. I like the branding on the case. Like I said, analog always goes the extra mile to make sure that you feel like you're getting something of pretty high quality. The plastic is nice and thick and heavy. I mean, it feels like if you were to drop this thing, which, first of all, you don't want to drop it, but it does feel like it would absolutely protect the pocket inside of here. Okay, so let's, uh, let's open up our next goodie which next most important thing will be the dock. Now, I won't be demoing the dock for you guys in this video because I will be streaming the pocket a ton. I've been putting off pretty much doing anything with uh, my Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color games for the past ye almost year and a half because of the pocket. I've been saving everything for being able to stream it with the dock and also to play that stuff on the pocket in general. All right, so let's see the dock. This is the most important thing to me just as important as the pocket to be honest AC adapter and we got cables in here we're just gonna leave the cables in there for now the dock oh, wow this is heavier than I thought which is a good thing because you don't want this thing sliding all over the place uh, potentially toppling over this is actually pretty weighty I'm sure that's done kind of on purpose to, to keep it like I said from tipping over now let's see how the dock sits on here with the analog pocket so we do got to pop this open one more time let's see if I learned anything from before yes I did that's good stick this guy on here okay okay so it feels pretty snug in there Ooh, actually yeah you don't want to you don't want to be moving this thing around because it's uh, it's just hanging on there by like one USB-C or something and uh, in the back here, as you can see, you also want to be really careful because these cables are going to sit very close and flush to the, the, you know, the table that you're resting this on. So if this were to lean back, it's going to be bad news for your cables and potentially snap off inside of here. But I like the look of the dock. I think it's pretty sleek and um, very weighty. Like, let me just say one more time that it feels like you have bought something here of genuine quality. It doesn't feel like a cheap knockoff or anything. This, this feels hefty. And uh, certainly worth the price, visually, in terms of games and the console itself. Alright, so, um, we got the Game Gear adapter. Let's just quickly pop this in here. I actually don't have a Game Gear game ready to go, but I am curious to see how this sits inside of the pocket. Ok, 
Okay, once again, we got one of those card things in there holding things in place. It's an itsy bitsy little adapter. It's like a smaller version of the ones for the Mega SG. So let's see how this kind of adapts into here and looks. Hopefully we don't need to take all that plastic off first. Ah, you know what? You might. Let me see. No, you don't have to. I don't think. So let's leave that on there for now. There we go. Sits nice and flush. I, I always like the clear look of their adapters. However, I, I feel like for the, the pocket, just to make it look a little bit more uniform, I wish they would have kind of just gone with a, a matte finish like they did here, but I mean, it is what it is. It's it's okay. It does kind of pop out a little bit in beh from behind there, um, but you know, hey, they're giving us adapters. You got to do what you got to do. I'm sure they tried everything they could to make this thing as flush with the console as they possibly could. So now if you lay this on a table on a surface, it is... Um, gonna be a little bit lopsided, but that's okay. Anyway, the adapter, okay. I cannot wait for the other adapters in the future, boy, let me tell you. And then last but not least, uh, you know, least exciting of all, I won't be putting this on on stream because I gotta make sure I, or on this video, I gotta make sure that I do this nice and carefully. But just to show you, I mean, they, they really, no matter what it is that you're buying from them, even a screen protector, which is, of course, the hardest thing of all to open here. Hold on. We need some extra slicing here. Ooh, that's a really dull blade. Okay. Apparently, the hardest thing to open out of this whole thing is the screen protector box. My goodness. But, uh, yeah, I figured I'd go take all the... Oh, okay. wow, that's some interesting packaging. Okay, so it's like just two pieces of foam that house the the glass protector here. I'm not going to put my fingerprints on that. I'm actually just going to leave this in here. Um, because this is going to take some finesse getting on, but just to give you an idea of their packaging choices, right? Just kind of sandwiched in between there. So anyway, guys, that is uh, going to do it for my first look at unboxing the Analog Pocket. I've been super hyped for this thing. Um, just my initial first impressions, boy. I can't wait. I cannot wait to play more of this thing, and I hope you guys join me as well. I will be streaming a lot of my games off of here on my Twitch page using the dock, so if you're curious to see what it looks like, um, on you know on a TV and see what the quality is like off of the analog pocket feel free to stop by my streams when you see me doing that I'll have a, a link to my stream in case you haven't been there yet in the description below let me guys n let me know uh, what did you guys pick up I chose the black version of the analog pocket did you pick up the white one what accessories did you get which adapters do you plan on getting which games are you most excited to play on this thing are you like me and you just cannot wait to jump back in the games like golden sun again Leave a comment below and let me know what you guys thought. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. I, uh, oh, man, I'm so happy this day has finally come. I'll see you guys in the next video. little smiley face for you.